You know, I found a really crazy story on the TMZ website that I have to share with you guys, man. I posted on my blog a couple days ago, but I just got a chance to record about it now. And man, this right here is definitely going to fuel some of those Illuminati conspiracy theories and whatnot. <laughs> Check this crazy shit out. TMZ posted a story about Cat Williams and something that allegedly went down with him and, and another woman, another fight. It says, and I quote, this one is bizarre, even by Cat Williams standards. An actress is accusing the comedian of organizing a beatdown on her that included Wiccan sorcery. Jamila Majesty says the brutal incident went down at Cat's Malibu home almost two years ago. She says he invited her over, and when she arrived, five other women were already there. In a lawsuit she filed against Cat, she says things went south quick when she made the mistake of using his bathroom. Jamila says Kat told her, quote, no one uses my bathroom. And then the women started punching her. She says the beating continued for three hours. She lost consciousness several times, was bloodied, and Kat burned her face with a Newport cigarette. She also says one of Kat's chicks had a book open in the room, which contained, quote, teachings on sorcery and spells and there was a fire that was being fed by quote unusual things Jamila says she was finally able to leave around 1 30 a.m. and drove home bloody she says she was too afraid to call 911 out of fear cat would get revenge she's suing for assault and battery false imprisonment and emotional distress end quote <sighs> You know, another day, another crazy story about Cat Williams. I mean, can you freaking believe it? They whooped her up and put some damn voodoo on her ass to make her grow a horn in the middle of her forehead. No, let me stop kidding. Now, this is no laughing matter, but when she <laughs> that was some straight hood shit when she said she got burned by a Newport cigarette. We all know it was a menthol and it was a 100. Now, of course, I'm just you know speculating here but she allegedly was burned with a damn Newport cigarette and got beat up by five women that shit is crazy that that's just it's not unbelievable because I mean with all of the stories that are coming out about Cat Williams allegedly punching this person allegedly pointing a gun at that person it's like n nothing surprises me you know if they come out next and say he has a pet dinosaur that hangs out with his pet unicorn I'm just going to say, well, I mean, it's Cat Williams. You know, nothing about Cat Williams surprises me now. I mean, I don't heard everything. Really, witchcraft, sorcery, books of spells, fires being fed, unusual things. What the hell? She was beaten until she was unconscious. I mean, all of this is too much. I mean, if any of this is in fact true. Cat Williams really needs help. Not only does he need help, the people around him need help too because it sounds like they're fucked up too. You know, it doesn't sound like it's just one person that's out of his mind and it's just a bunch of enablers. It sounds like they're rolling in like a grouping of people who are doing things that they have no business doing. If this is true. Because I'm just going to stay neutral on this one and I'm just going to hope that this shit is exaggerated because if not, Man, they need to, like, snatch Cat up and, and put him in a padded room or something. I mean, this is just clear insanity, Cat. I mean, other than maybe Papa Shango from WWF, I don't remember anybody whooping somebody's ass and putting a curse on him. I mean, that's some old next level stuff. I mean, Cat's not from New Orleans, is he? No, right? What the hell? Anyways, I don't even know what to say about this crap, but let me know what you think about it all below. You think it's true? Think the story's made up? You think Cat Williams is in the Illuminati and put a damn Illuminati hex on this woman? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.